everyone, it's me Christina. So for this week you guys voted for me to talk about the best fashion magazines. Here we go, this is so exciting for me. The first is Lucky Magazine. So I don't really buy this magazine but it's great if you really need an idea on key pieces to add to your wardrobe. They have pretty cool people on their covers too, like these three fashion bloggers who are like really great role models for me. Out of five stars, I'd probably give this a three. Next is Harper's Bazaar. I think Harper's Bazaar is fun if you are really into high fashion. If you're looking to find stuff to add to your shopping list, this is not really it if you're on a budget especially. It's one of my favorites. Out of five stars, I'd probably give it a four. Cosmo isn't really a fashion magazine. It's just basically a women's magazine. I know Kylie Jenner, right? It's more like if you want to take those fun quizzes, if you want to know, you know, tips about stuff I can't talk about on camera, then this is the magazine for you. In terms of fashion, out of five stars, I'd give it a one. Nylon Magazine is pretty cool. If you like Teen Vogue, um, I think this is a good magazine to pick up. They have a lot of really chic, urban, edgy, trendy stuff in here that is uh, pretty much affordable and they have really young upcoming indie artists um, that they feature in here all the time. Out of five stars, I'd probably give this a three. I don't really pick up Nylon Guys, um, but I think it's also, I mean, it's like Nylon Magazine, so if um, you're a guy and you're into fashion, I'd recommend this one very much so. Now, this bad boy. This is Flaunt Magazine. It's huge and it's heavy. This is really basically just art. It's, it's couture, it's a lot of high fashion, it's nothing to base your shopping on. Basically just a fun read. Um, there's really great editorials, a lot of just if you're an artist, you'll love this, so that's, if you're an artist, I recommend it. Out of five stars, I'd probably give this a two. The Wall Street Journal actually puts out a magazine as well. It reminds me of Vogue. It has a lot of great um, reading material, um, a lot of really nice fashion too, so out of five stars, I'd give this a three. Glamour is one of my absolute favorite magazines. Right off the bat, I'm going to give this a five because, um, you'll find stuff if you see like a dress you love you can totally just look online it has the info for you and most likely you can afford it it's just, it's just so much fun and they really promote women and women equality and powerful women obviously this is women of the year um issue i recommend this issue every month they have something really really special in it so pick it up. In Style is one of my favorites too. There's always a lot of material. It's always a pretty hefty magazine, which is great. They also have pretty affordable pieces mixed in with high fashion pieces. Um, really famous A-list celebrities are usually on the covers. It's a great beauty magazine as well. They really know how to pinpoint trends too. So if you buy one in style magazine a year it has to be the september issue for sure out of five stars i'd give this a four marie claire is pretty good um it's not my favorite i feel like now it's kind of like a wannabe glamour magazine um they do have a lot of affordable um examples of trends and fashions that you can buy fast fashion especially but there's like randomly high-end pieces which is kind of off for me but um it's still pretty good i'd give this a three out of five and finally i love my international magazine this is el mexico which is just really awesome I also have Vogue Mexico and Vogue Spain. Um, I love international magazines, specifically from Spain and Mexico. They're um, very fashion forward. Magazines from Mexico are very European-esque, so I love that. Whenever I go to a foreign country, that's like the first thing I pick up are magazines like um, French Vogue, um, Italian Vogue. There's like certain magazines that are only available in those countries, so that's pretty awesome. Those, obviously, I'd give them 5 out of 5. That's all for this week's vlog. Thanks, guys, and please let me know what you think of this episode. Let me know what you want me to talk about next, okay? Bye! No, <laughs>